the last lesson, we learned about the prefixes and how different prefixes represent different values. And how adding a prefix to a base unit will change the values of that SI base unit. In this lesson, we are going to learn a memory device that allows us to memorize the most common SI prefixes that you will use in any science class. The name of this memory device is called Two Spaces King Henry Memory Device. And if we look at the table, we have the name of the prefixes Mega, Kilo, Hecto, Deca, and of course the base unit are the root except for kilograms. The root of kilograms is gram. So they are the root of a scientific word. We have deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, and pico. And then we have the symbols for the prefixes. Then right below the symbols, we have the values of each of the prefixes. But here is the most important part, is that the values of the prefixes can be represented by exponent with a base of 10. For mega, we have 1 million. That is 6, 0. So we have 10 to the 6. We, for kilo, we have 1,000 with 3, 0. 10 to the 3rd. Now let's go back and learn how to use this memory device. Again, the name is called Two Spaces King Henry Memory Device. And here is the memory device. Mighty Two Spaces King Henry Die Because Drinking Chocolate Milk two spaces until notice until start with the letter u because it represents the symbols for micro two spaces nine two spaces pm so the first letter of the words in the statement represent the symbols of the prefixes now how does that help you memorize the values of the prefixes and that is if you memorize the statement and you remember any values for any of the prefixes, you can determine the rest of the values. Because look at the order. We have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That is, they decrease by 1, you go this way, or they increase by 1. So if you memorize this statement and the order of it, you will be able to memorize the values of all of them. For instance, let's say if I memorize the base unit, which is the easiest one of all. It's always the simplest one. Because the base unit is equal to itself. Think of the word base. We have 1. And what power is always equal to 1? Of course, 0. Any number to the 0 is equal to 1. So I know that base is equal to 0. So all I have to do is count this way or that way. If I'm going to pickles, of course, I'm getting smaller, so therefore it's going to be minus. So what's after zero? It's going to be minus one. After minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten, minus eleven, minus twelve. And there you go. You have pico minus twelve, nano minus nine. That's why the two space is so important because it's allow you to have that decrease of 1 continuously. Or if you go this way to determine mega, what's after 0? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you can see, let's test it out. We have kilo, which is 10 to the third. And there you go. And that's the beauty of this memory device. Mighty two spaces, King Henry die because Drinking chocolate milk, two spaces, until two spaces, nine, two spaces, p.m. But if you are having a hard time memorizing the two spaces, focus on this. The majority of your science class will focus on King Henry die because of drinking chocolate milk. So thank you to King Henry. We now know all the values of the most common prefixes used in any science classes. And thank you for watching, and if you have any question about these videos or any comment, please comment below.